Gameslane's coverage of PAX Prime 2015 is brought to you by Ground Control Classic Arcade, located in Portland. Okay, Tom and Dylan over here. We are at Deep Silver, where we had a chance to check out Homefront, The Revolution. The follow-up to the uh, the game Homefront, obviously, uh, that came out a few years ago. Uh, Dylan, what did you think? I know that you're a, you're a first-person shooter guy. I play uh, I play Call of Duty, the standard first-person shooters. Uh, as somebody who's a first-person shooter expert, what did you think about the Homefront? First impressions? Already better than the first game. I actually uh, I played through the entire first game. I witnessed that accident of a game, and I'm this this excites me though. This one shows a lot of promise. It was a lot more interesting than what I saw from the first home front. One thing that I noticed about this game, and maybe it's because you were supposed to be a guerrilla fighter, is that the enemies felt a little overpowered to me. It seemed like some of these fighters, and it seemed like all the Korean soldiers all had kind of like uh, mech suits or like power armor or something, but it seemed like even just using my handgun or your machine gun, I was unloading full clips into some of these soldiers, and they weren't going down. Uh, part of what we saw in the, um, the demo before we actually got to play the game, um, they described how they want some scenarios to be difficult for you to fight through all the enemies. They want you to have to run away at times, which isn't something you often see in video games. Um, and I think that maybe um, that's why we encountered some of those kind of tough enemies. It goes against what we're kind of conditioned to, uh, to do in shooters, which is just to mow everybody down. Yeah. But we'll kind of see how they balance that, and it, it could it could become an interesting mechanic, having to figure out when to run away. Another thing I wanted to mention is that for a demo, it was really open-ended. Like, I wasn't sure if I was doing what I was supposed to be doing some of the time, which, you know, could be a good thing, maybe a bad thing. I don't know. We'll have to see. But, um, yeah, it was definitely, it, it exceeded my expectations, and I look forward to seeing more. Yeah, I mean, that's pretty much how I feel about the game as well. Um, I wasn't sure quite what to expect out of it, but it was a lot of fun. Um, so this is a game that we're definitely going to check out, and I recommend you check out if you like first-person shooters. Uh, it comes out in spring 2016. It is a first-person shooter. It is a first-person shooter. It comes out in spring 2016 for PC, the glorious PC, uh, Xbox One, and PS4. So check it out when it releases. And there's also a, um, a co-op beta coming out this winter, I believe. Yes, co-op beta coming out this winter. So check that out before you initially pick up the game, which I'm sure that you will if you enjoy the first home front in uh, spring 2016. Yeah, the game's a lot of fun, so we look forward to it.